Question 6 then from the 2022 Advanced Higher Paper 2. Six marks this time. Series and sequences. Now, those can be real horror sometimes. This looks quite straightforward because it's just an arithmetic series you've got. Well, sequence you've got here. But what does it say anyway? The first three terms of a sequence are defined algebraically, because we've got series unknowns here, by these three terms, where those are natural numbers. It says, show that these three terms form the start of an arithmetic sequence. Well, it'll be an arithmetic sequence if there's a common difference, if you always keep adding the same amount each time to get the next one. So the way to do that is just check what's been added. What's u2 minus u1? Well, that'll be 3x plus 2 minus x plus 5. So it's 3x minus x is 2x, and that's 2 take away 5, which is minus 3. Now, check what was added here, and if that's the same, then it could be the start of an arithmetic sequence. What's u3 minus u2? Well, that'll be 5x minus 1. Take away 3x plus 2. Well, 5 take away 3 is 2x. And negative 1 take away 2, that's minus 3. Well, they're the same. So now you have to see you've got a common difference. So I could say u2 minus u1 is equal to u3 minus u2 which means that you've got a common difference. Common difference D, we'll call it, equals 2x minus 3. Maybe I should also say, which means it forms an arithmetic series, sequence. Not sure how much I actually have to write down, but it did say show it forms one, so you have to show they've got a common difference. Now, now finding these differences, the first one gets the first mark. Finding the second one and showing that they're same gets the second mark. Part B. Find a simplified expression for the 15th term of this sequence for two marks. Well, that's quite easy. Any particular term in an arithmetic sequence can be found by taking the first term, which you'd call A, and adding on one lot less of whatever the number of terms is, because you didn't, ha didn't have to add anything to get that first term, plus N minus 1D. So if you're looking for U15, you can just start with the first term and add on one less than the 15, which is 14, of the common difference, which was 2x minus 3. Doing that gets the first mark just for remembering that that's what you do and putting the numbers in. Now tidy it up for the last mark. So that's x plus 5 and that's 14, so it'll be 28x minus, and then the three, three 14s will be 42. So what's that? 29x minus 37. That gets that mark. Part C then, again two marks, given that the sum of the first 20 terms, I know you're just going to use the formula for the sum, which is actually given in the front if you don't remember it, given that the sum of the first 20 terms of the sequence is 113, I'll just put that down, the sum of the first 20 terms is 1130, find the value of x. Well, if you look up the front, you'll find that the sum of n terms is formed by, well, it's actually n times the average of the first and last terms. It's n times the average, so there's divided by 2, of the first plus the last. Well, the last involves another a. 2a plus n minus 1d. You just copy it down, basically. Then you just put all the information in, because you've got all the information. So, n upon 2, that's 20. So I've got 20 upon 2 times 2 times a, which was x plus 5 plus n minus 1, I'll just spell it out here, 20 minus 1, times d, which was 2x minus 3. There's the sum of the first 20 terms. That should come to 1130. Now, writing that down, which just means copying that from the front and putting the figures you've already got, or the expressions you've already got, gets you a mark.
they just get sold but right so there's tons of it here we've got 10 times what have we got all together we've got a 2x we've got a 10 we've got a 19 doubled to 38 and then we've got 3 times 19 well that would be 60 take away 3 that's a 57 that should equal 1130 now tidy this I'll take that 10 across so tidy this up you've got 40x and that'll be minus 47 and taking that 10 across and dividing will be 113 so the 40x will be adding that on 160 so the x will be dividing it 4 now you get the last mark